Welcome back to a new tutorial from Master in Programming. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can create a walkthrough just like this, which takes you through your steps. And once you swipe the last one, it actually ends. And if you close or open the app again, and I'm just going to try to find it. Oop, well, let's run it again from here. If you try and run the app again, it actually doesn't have it. So you can see here, if I dismiss this and open it again, it no longer has it. It only shows it when it's the first time a user opens the app. If this is something that you want to learn, stick around. I'll show you exactly how to do it in very simple steps. Welcome back, guys. Now, as you can see here, I've already got this uh, project open. It's a very empty project. I didn't do anything. I literally just created it now to save time before I hit the recording button. We're also going to be testing this app on my iPhone, which is an iPhone 11 Pro. If you don't have an iPhone, you can still just run it on any of the simulators and it will act exactly the same. So before anything, basically what we're creating today is a tutorial on creating a walkthrough page where you can flick through if it's your first time opening the app and you'll see a set of instructions. Before we set the instructions, let's go ahead and just put anything to sh like in the actual screen to see whether we finished the walkthrough or not. So to do this, I'm simply just going to be adding a label. And inside of this label, I'll just put something simple in the center here. And it will just say, tutorial ended. And basically what happens is that after the user flicks through the entire walkthrough, we're going to be presented with this. And then from that point forward, every single time we open the app again, this is going to be presented because the walkthrough is only going to be showing once and only once. Now, if you're being practical, your walk your walkthroughs are most likely just going to be images, like an image that just has your walkthrough. Um, so like image one with step one, image two and image three. So let's go ahead and add that. Now I've already actually prepared the set of instructions that I'll use. They are in my downloads under images somewhere. I hope I didn't remove them and I did. So just give me a second to put them again. Um, they would be under work. And once again, I probably should have organized this before. Um, assets. Okay, so we've got, this is the first image and I hope we can paste it here. I'm actually not too sure. There we go, so that's step one. Step two, I'm just taking it from my previous project here just to make things easy. And step three. Now, just before I drag them in, I wanna show it to you. Or actually we can just drag it in and then do that. So you've got step one. And let's make it single scale. Single scale and single scale. I'm just gonna open it here so you can sort of see what they are. Basically, we have an image that has step one, two, and three, and this is going to be our walkthrough. So the user is going to swipe between this one to the left to go to step two, then step three, and then the app will actually load. Now, let's just go ahead and change this from this long title to saying step one. This one can be, oh, this one says step three. So step two will be step two, step two, and finally, step three. Now, if you don't have these images with you, I would recommend just put any images for now, just any sort of image, just so you can test this app. It doesn't actually have to have any content on it. And then once you get your own instructions or screenshots, you can also include them. Let's go back to our main storyboard, just like this. And what I'm going to do now is I will add an image view, one image view, like this. And I'll basically set it up from one end to the other, just to here maybe. Now, obviously, be a little bit smart about this. If your screen needs to cover the entire screen, by all means, just take it all the way to the end. For me, I'm just going to put it all the way maybe until this point like this and something else that we need to add are the dots so let me show you what these are so the page control and we again i'm just gonna add it right underneath our image now you can see that we actually can't see and that's saying current page is white so i'm gonna make sure that it's something like this 
and then or maybe we can actually even make it fully black um black color and for the other ones we can make it like this um we can even make it a little bit brighter just so that people can actually differentiate whether <laughs> why is it not letting me um whether it's the one that we want or not so maybe for opacity there we go that looks probably how it usually looks on iphones um before anything we should probably also add constraints so this actually remains where it is on any iphone um so to this i'm just gonna switch to an iphone 11 pro or like an iphone 13 pro they're the same size just so i can see how it kind of looks like you can see that it's skewed around here we go and this one i want it over here and then based on this ui actually I'm just going to move this for a second so I can center this back. And let's push it back over here. There we go. Awesome. So now what do we actually need to do? Well, let's just assign this a first image. So I'm going to set it up with step one. Because this is what will happen as soon as someone launches the app. We want them to see step one first. We're also going to click on our assistant. And the first things that I'll be doing is I'll be dragging our images and then this uh, control over here. So control and drag and I'll put an image over here and I'll just call it steps images. And over here, I'll also set it up as an outlet and I'll just call it dots because I can't think of a better name. So now what else do we need? Well, we need a swipe gesture and what that does is that it allows us to swipe on the screen up down left or right to actually create an action to do this i'm going to click on this plus icon i'm going to swipe all the way to the bottom and i'm going to select swipe gesture recognizer i'm going to drag it i'm not going to put it on the image itself i'm actually just going to put it right under the exit now if i click on it oops, if i click on it and click on this you can see here that it has swipe right or left, up or down. We want it so that if the user swipes from that way to that way, um, it will flick through, which I think that means swipe to the left because you're swiping your finger from the right to the left. If it doesn't work, we're just going to change it. And now what I'll do is I'll actually, again, click control, hold control, sorry, and drag this over here. And I'll call it swipe action there we go so every time someone swipes what's inside of this is going to run to test this let's just put a simple print statement here swiping is working correctly okay so now that we added this there's actually one or two more things left to do so we also need to click on the image itself control and we need to drag it onto swipe gesture recognizer and we're going to select gesture recognizers right there there's also one more thing that we need to do is select the image so just click on the image go over here and you need to make sure that user interaction enabled is ticked and that means that the user can interact with the object so now if i run this app on my iphone and we minimize this just so that you can see if i now start swiping from right to left you can see that it is printing and every single time I'm doing it it's printing more as well so now we know that the swipe gesture works now let's get into actual uh, actually making this work by changing replacing the print statement with something that will actually change the images before I do that what I want to do is I actually want to fix the UI as you can see that it's sort of getting out of the screen so to do this we're just going to click on our board over here I'm going to click on that and I'll click add missing constraints. And what that does is that it just adds some constraints to tell the iPhone where to display your items. So now when we, run, when we run it again and go back to it, you can see that everything is actually aligned properly and in a good way. Let's go ahead and go back. So now what we're gonna do is we're actually going to start by flicking through the dots every time someone swipes. To do this, what I'm going to do is I'll create another variable right here at the top and I'll say var number is equal to one. I'll then remove this. 
like this so we can actually put our own code i will say number is plus or equal to one so every time a swipe happens this number gets added to so one swipe is going to change this to two another swipe is going to change it to three and so on now because we have three instruction pages i'll check if number is equal to four so if we actually reached four swipes what we want to do is first of all we want to hide the steps over here so i'm going to say steps images and then i'll say dot is hidden and i'll say it's true so now that will hide our images what we want to hide as well is the dots so i'll say dots dot is hidden equal to true finally actually we can keep this just for demonstration purposes now i'll say he else so if it's not actually four if we're still under four swipes what we want to do is that we want to change the image from this to the second the third and so on so to do this i'm going to say steps images dot image is equal to ui image there we go open a bracket we'll put name inside of here i am going to say step and then i will say string and i'll pass in the number so why exactly did i do this well using this function here i can actually specify the name of the image that i want if we go to the assets we've got images as step one two and three so right now all i'm saying is i want the image step one sorry i want the image that's called step one to be displayed and then the image that's called step two and step three so number is one so i want the image which is the first image second one or third one step and then the number now one more thing that we need to do is we actually need to change the dots position so i'll say dots dot current page is equal to number but if you realize in programming we're starting with zero one two which means that if this number is on two and we want to this it will actually show that we're on the third page so all i will need to do to fix this is simply say minus one let's go ahead and run this app and see if it works or if it crashes okay so the app now just loaded as you can see and if i swipe we can you can see that we've got step two if i swipe again you can see that we've got step three so the swiping works and if i swipe one other time you can see that it gets dismissed now if i actually go ahead and close and turn this app again you can see that again this gets displayed for the second time so what we want to do now is that we actually want to stop this app from running for uh, sorry we want to stop the walkthrough from appearing again every single time we close this app so let's go ahead and do that last bit i'm gonna go over here and what i'll do is uh, after we actually finish the walkthrough i'll use user defaults dot standard dot set inside of here i'm going to say done he i'll say for key tutorial what are we doing now well we're using and maybe we can just go to the actual page we're using user defaults it's a way for us to save information on the app even after the app is shut and what we're saying is that as soon as we finish the walkthrough we want to say that we want to save the word done under the key tutorial so now when the app launches what we can do is that we can actually check if there is anything saved under the key tutorial to do this we're going to say let i equal to user defaults dot standard dot string and then i'm going to be saying tutorial now this key has to be matching exactly this key then i'll say if i is equal to done so if there is if 
this string is saved on the tutorial, well, what we want to do is we actually want to hide the image that is hidden equal to true. And we also want to hide the dots. So I'll say dots dot is hidden equal to true. Amazing. So now let's run this app one more time. And when we run the app, you'll see that we're presented with this walkthrough. And if I go ahead and swipe, what we've got step two now, swipe again, and then swipe for the last time, we're finished. And now if I actually go ahead and run this app again, or close the app and run it again, or for whatever reason, just turn the app again, you can see that the app knows that I've already gone through the walkthrough and it doesn't display it any more. Thanks so much for this tutorial. I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you learned a lot from it and I hope to see you again in the next episode.